Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillette? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. <sighs> I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. <laughs>